is jumping back in. Awesome. Hey, Rhea. Hey. I get so excited to see you because I miss you so much. I know. I miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. It's like okay. I never seen your face before. I'm like, <laughs> I know. Okay. All right. We're ready right. to get going. This is great. Cool. And oh, so driving, driving mall is in New Zealand. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. A rugby writer and talker. Really cool. Yes. Love that's it. That's on my list of places to go. I know. I was oh. just thinking that. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah, I have a friend in New Zealand, and I've definitely had that on my to-do list to go visit yeah. her for a long time. So, Abby, yep, <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I'll let you kick it off for you. Hey, you guys, we're always excited to be here, right? Not only are we excited to see each other, but really excited to see people in the room, old friends and new, t and new friends, right? Hey, Dante, <laughs> that was for you. Um, you guys have shown us a love um, that is incredible tonight and we haven't even really started. Uh, for those of you that don't know us, we are Team Transformation. I'm Aria and I'm here with our mom, Sonia, and my twin sister, Dejan. Those of you that know us, you know that we are a three woman team, right? We're entrepreneurs, we're bloggers, we're kind of a little bit of everything, right? We have our hands in a lot of pots, but at the end of the day, we are three women on a mission. We call ourselves Team Transformation because we celebrate positive change and life shifts at any stage and really at any age in life. Um, at heart, I feel like we were all born with an entrepreneurial spirit that's incredible. So what we're trying to do is help ourselves and help other people take their business to the next level online. So hence our show title, Hack Your Hustle, right? So this is our Thursday night show where we're gonna be bringing you um, really something that I think everyone needs to hear, even if you think you have it down pat, right? So we have a three-day game plan for network marketers who you know, wanna hack their hustle, which means take their business to the next level by branding themselves, right? We wanna make sure this is something we get right. Not some of the time, not occasionally, but all the time with intention. That's right. So we're gonna just jump in and get started. I'm gonna hand it over to Dejan so she can talk to you guys. And I will, um, as always, keep note of who's joining the room and show everybody love, guys. Anybody that's new, we wanna just shower them with love, let them know they are in the right place because somebody needs to hear tonight's message. Totally, I think that's definitely true. Um, and so I'm excited to be here because the message is pretty powerful. And um, as we start out, I'll just say that you know, when we started this whole journey of um, you know, the network marketing business, can you guys hear me okay? I just wanna sound check if you're not getting too much feedback yes. or anything. We can hear you fine. Okay, perfect. I can. So, okay, good. No, no, no. I just heard a little bit of feedback and I wanted to make sure it wasn't disturbing. So anyway, when we first started this journey, you know, um, we had a lot to find out. We really and honestly did. You know, we've always believed and known when a good thing kind of comes along. And right. so over the course of our life, we've tapped into a lot of really good things, you know, as I'm sure you have also. That's why you're on the scope with us, on this blab with us tonight. Um, and so what we learned kind of in the process of figuring out, you know, how do you really market, you know, a product, a service, a, uh, um, an opportunity, you know, what's the best way to do it in 2015? Because surely, you know, we've kind of all been down this game for the last maybe 15 years or so, um, you know, and, and kind of dabbled in and out and the game has probably changed, you know? So the tactics that people were using to promote and build a business in 2010 are totally different than what they are right now. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yes. Oh my goodness. So different. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually the other day looking at a website from back in 08. Right. And, uh, this was, um, I don't even know what the site was, but let me tell you, it looked like a rock. Seriously. The site looked so antiquated. It was like unbelievable because I could not see myself going to a site that looked like that today without being like completely disturbed and <laughs> jumping off of the site. So and there was a time that we were like really excited by that. Right. Because you oh, know, yeah. gosh, yes. you know, you don't know what you don't know. You don't or know you what you don't seen know yet. Right. You don't know what the future may bring. That's what it really right. is. Exactly. And so I say that just to say that times have changed um, and we want to make sure that you are up on really the best ways to market whatever it is that you have and the best ways to launch your business and get it started in basically 2016, because that's what we're looking at in just a couple weeks. Right. So that's right. Awesome. So, you know, I'm going to introduce tonight's topic, which is branding, right? That's what we talked about. Um, branding is this entire idea um, of, of setting yourself apart, making yourself noticeable. Um, 
And so a lot of people, you know, whether you are part of a direct sales company, an MLM, whether you have, you know, your own service, your own product, um, I'm sure you've heard people talk about the importance and the significance of branding. You know, what does that really mean? And so in a nutshell, I guess to put this in true layman's terms for anybody that's catching this and it's, it's new, it's really putting your personal stamp on um, what it is that you represent, right? So we all know that you do represent a product or a company, right? But at the end of the day, you are not that product and you are not that company, you know? You give it the thumbs up and you're able to speak about it and sell it, but what you're really interested in doing is really selling yourself, right? That's so That's true. Right. That's absolutely right. Awesome. So, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say that's really cool that you bring that up. Um, I don't know that people always tell you that. So I feel like you just dropped a little nugget, right? You're selling yourself, not the company and not necessarily the product. Hopefully. That, yeah, yeah, that's so true. And, and just to add a little tidbit to that, I think that most of the time when you begin with your new company, you're taught to do really the exact opposite. You're told to go out and market that company and market right. and mar market those products, of course, but market exactly. the company. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And so, you know, there really are um, a few things, right? So let's throw out the big um, the big question: Why market yourself and not your company? You know, why are we saying that? Okay. So there's a few reasons. Um, I have a few to share with you, and then I'm going to throw it to my mom, Sonia, so that she can um, name a few. You know, yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to stop you for a second. I just want to back up just just a minute. Just talk about branding alone. You know what? What what do you mean when you say branding? What does branding mean in this arena? You know, just just kind of dummy it down, just just to kind of get that out of the way. What is branding? So when we talk about branding you instead of branding your company, what, what exactly do we mean by that? Um, okay, so I'll break it down in a different way, unless, Aria, you have another spin that you want to add to it. But um, branding you is what is your authentic stamp? You know, what is your twist? What is, what is the you that's in that company? You know, what is your brand? Mm -hmm. We can all think about brands. Let's think about Nike. Um, actually, we'll talk about... Um, um, uh, Budweiser, you know, I brought this up in a blog post recently. All right. Blo uh, Budweiser is known for, um, their awesome commercials with the Clydesdale horses, right? right. And so what they're able to do, um, we know that they're a beer, right? They're an adult beverage, whatever you want to call it or say, you know, but when we see their commercials at Super Bowl, you know what we know about them? We are able to instantly know where their values lie. We're able to see who they want to connect to. Um, mm -hmm. We're actually able to see that Budweiser isn't just an alcohol. It's actually kind of like a sentimental brand, right? Right. They give us these images that kind of tug at our heartstrings and let us know exactly who they are, what they represent. And so in the blog post that I was just, uh, you know, mentioning, I highlighted that at, at actually 2015's uh, Super Bowl commercial, it's called Lost Dog, right? And so in a nutshell, it's depicting this farmer who's, working away and his dog actually jumps into um, the trailer of somebody that came to the farm to do a drop off. You know, unbeknownst to the driver, he closes the door and the dog goes on this little journey and the farmer's like, where's the dog, right? And so the dog's in a new place. He jumps out of the trailer when the, when the driver stops. He's looking for home. He finds his way back to the farm and we see him, it's like nighttime outside, right? And so it's looking scary, this cute little Labrador puppy is actually just, you know, uh, yards away from his farm. And then we see in the background a wolf coming up, right? Or a coyote probably. And so the coyote looks so intimidating to this cute little puppy that was lost and finally found its way home. And then instantly, you know, they cut to the farmer being a little bit worried late at night and he, you know, sat over the puppy. And then we see the horses rumbling. All the Clydesdales are getting restless. Like they have intuition because they've connected with the puppy also. And so they know that um, something is not right. And so we see them, or we, the commercial implies that they break out of their stalls and they come to the rescue of this puppy and the approaching wolf. And they intimidate the wolf, scare him off, and they leave the puppy back home, back into the stable. 
And so wow. the, cut to the next morning, the farmer's there. He walked into the stable and to his surprise, the puppy is there safely under a little thing of hay and the horses have kind of brought him back home. And so we see the farmer sitting on a bale of hay with a Budweiser in its hand, okay? And so that tells us that, wow, Budweiser cares about, you know, um, people that are kind of in the trenches getting dirty, you know, maybe blue collar workers, maybe middle America, maybe rural America, men, they care about animals, right? And so right. in that short commercial, they have told us what their values are and they shared a piece of, you know, what they represent. They've told a story. So um, that's maybe a depiction of how somebody is able to put their brand on an actual product. Because at the end of the day, they were just selling beer. They could have done that in a million different ways. Yeah. So that's I a, like that's that. That's a great story. example. Yeah, that's a perfect example. Yeah, you got to so, check yeah, out the, it means the commercials. Something. Awesome. Exactly. It means something. It means something. You know, it's funny. I don't see that commercial a lot, but I'm also, I live in New York. We didn't mention where we were all from. But I live in New York and you live in Georgia. I don't see a lot of those commercials and I don't see a lot of Budweiser commercials, but you know, um, I definitely will check it out online. Yeah, it's it's um it's on there. So um so that answers the question, right, Rob? That kind of breaks it down, right? Yeah, so yeah, it did. It did. It it that was perfect. Exactly. Um, good example. And so here's the here's the next question. Let's throw it out. And I'm just gonna take a second to pause and say hey to everybody that's watching. I see some great messages on the side. Evan Taxi, um, it's nice to see you again. Um, it's always good to connect with people that we've connected with in the past. Um, and I know you've uh, um, shared some great information with us before. So you know, welcome back to to Hack Your Hustle. Absolutely. Um, so so again, this is piggybacking back on that question. So why market yourself and not your business? All right. Let me start with saying that number one, and if you have a pen and, pa a pen and paper handy, this is definitely the time to write this down, okay? Um, number one is people wanna do business with people, okay? So although you are representing this great company that has all these wonderful accolades and awards and you know, um, mm -hmm. you know all of the, uh, the, the, the paper to kind of, the paper and the awards to, to kind of back up their claim to fame, um, people are interested in buying from people. And so, mm -hmm. you know, that's the number one reason to brand yourself because people can connect with you. All right. Um, and really, if you're jumping into this game of network marketing or maybe you put it down for a while and you're picking it back up and seeing that there's new things in 2015, um, as a network marketer, you are in the business of building relationships. OK, absolutely. And actually, the same thing was true 20 years ago. If you were in network marketing right. 20 years ago, you were still in the business of building relationships. Actually, every marketer is no matter what type right. you are, you know, just like Budweiser, right? They're not a network marketing company, but they are in the business of building relationships. And they do that through, That's right. you know, how they communicate and advertise to the public. Same thing mm -hmm. is true with you, right? Um, building relationships is key. Um, one thing that we touched on in our last Hack Your Hustle session, if you guys missed it, um, or if you were on with us, we talked about storytelling, right? Mm -hmm. And I just illustrated how Budweiser told a story through their commercial, right? And how they were able to express their values and core beliefs and identify their target market all in one commercial. Um, that's kind of what you're able to do with your story, okay? And that's right. a key part to you and your relationship building in your network marketing business, okay? Right. So that's making sense so far. Um, and really and honestly, you have an opportunity to tell your story um, when you're in front of any potential customer or client or um, you know future business partner. Um, there's a few ways that you can do that and you can, I'm not going to spend too much time on this cause you can definitely go check out the blog post from Tuesday, um, this past Tuesday to, to see that in more detail. But, um, what you can definitely do is, um, um, remember the three, the three aspects to great storytelling, which that is present your challenge, um, present your choice, and then also let people know what the outcome was. Okay. And so that's how you're going to be able to express how you as a person, right? You as a person relate to your company. So a quick example is if you represent a weight loss company, all right? When you talk about it, you don't always want to post on Facebook or talk to people and say, hey, you know, go check this out. I have a flash sale going on. You know, um, these products are the greatest thing since sliced bread and people are seeing awesome results and flood people with your links and discounts and coupon codes, right? Because really what that is, is just another coupon in front of them. That's just another sale, right. you know? What you can do to kind of tell your story is say, hey, wow, um, 
And again, you can do this online or offline. You can say, wow, you know, one of the things I really always struggled with was my weight. And it was something that I could really never get under control. Um, and then I decided that finally, you know, after I had two kids, it was time for me to do something about it. And so I had a right. choice to make and I decided to get proactive about my health. I found a weight loss product um, that really helped me with my efforts and it was really easy to do, yada, yada, yada. And it helped me lose 10 pounds and eliminate one of my medications. And I also feel like I have tons of energy. All right. So just by you sharing that little story on Facebook or um, in line with somebody or, you know, at a networking event, people get an idea of what your challenge is, what your choice was, and then what your outcome was. And then probably before you finish the story, they might say, oh, man, that's awesome. You know, where can I check those things out at? Where can I where, where can I get some green shake? I've struggled with weight loss also or I've, you know, um, trying to get my, my my family a little bit healthier. So that's like a quick that. way of how storytelling really integrates with, um, you know, you as a person and you as a brand. So um, I like it. I can I jump in really quick. Do you mind? Um, no, totally. So that made me think of just like pulling something out of like my educator's hat, right? When you talked about the element of storytelling, right? There's a lot of different options that we have as marketers, right? Um, and we don't have to take on every challenge, right? Because some are for some people and others are for others, right? Um, so there is like a way that we can be comfortable uh, without, I want to say like over challenging ourselves, right? You don't want to be totally uncomfortable, although it's great to get outside of your comfort zone, right? So it just made me think of a term um, that I would use with kids all the time and that's challenge by choice, right? And so it's saying like you have to be challenged, but you have you can pick the challenge, right? And so it made me think of that as you're doing that storytelling and then I'm reading Evan's comment on the side because he's saying that you just have to make it simple, right? We all have a story, whether it's good or bad is our story to tell. Exactly. Um, and we find a way to do that, right? And it's 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 that challenge by choice. So you have to be challenged. Now pick which direction you're going to be in. Yeah. Right. And, what, and pick what direction you're going to go in. And that's easy mm -hmm. to tell when you're you know when you are excited about something and you're talking about your products because you know let's get real. You know, we were all attracted to um, an opportunity or something, you know, whatever brought you to this blab session, you were attracted to it because it resonated with you on some level. You know, if somebody right. brought you an opportunity and there was a product that you totally didn't believe in, didn't want to try or whatnot, most times you wouldn't market it. You know, you wouldn't have any interest right. in it. So I'm sure that you could pull out um, a lot of things with your personal life to kind of set up that story structure. Um, mm -hmm. And so before I go on and just make my last point, I'll just recap that that. Um, that full blog post, you can find that again on Tuesday's blog post on our blog at asidechange.com. Um, I'll throw out the link later. Don't worry about it. Okay. But, um, but yeah, so it's all there and there's a great PDF that actually you can use to help you really fine tune that structure. All right. Um, but finally, and then we'll move on from that point of storytelling, but basically when you're communicating with people in such that easy way, like Evan was talking about, like Aria was just saying, what you're doing is you're really building trust. You know, you're building authority. Um, and it's really easy for people to connect with you after that, you know, um, because the selling is just natural, right? You're kind of selling without selling, you know? That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens after you build trust, likability, um, and authority with somebody, you know, because people buy from what? From people. <laughs> they they like that. People right, think, right. You know, you're not going to exactly. buy from the devil, right? <laughs> That's hopefully not, right? Yeah, hopefully right. not. You're not going to buy from your worst enemy, you know, or somebody that kind of rubs you the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be mm -hmm. like, oh, let me whip out my credit card and like do some business with you. It just doesn't happen, typically. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, what is that? Can you hit on that a little bit more? That like sell without selling. If anybody is new, like let's say they started yesterday, I just wanted to go back to that because. Yeah, I'm, and I'm going to touch on it really so quick, guys, because I want to make sure that we hit our time tonight. So, again, that was last week. Um, and actually, you went on with us on Tuesday, Rhea. So, I know, um, I know. you know, we covered a lot of this, but basically, it'll be more clear as we continue to talk about this. But basically, um, you know, you're setting up your story, and just like the Budweiser commercial, just like the example with the weight loss, you are intrinsically sharing your values and your core beliefs and your target market with somebody just by telling a simple story. You know, mm -hmm. and so that's that selling without selling. You know, you've told somebody why you got excited about something. You relayed what products you used, what it did for you and how somebody else can get it. 
It's kind of as simple as that. So, um, and you know what? You know what? Storytelling, storytelling itself is a real art form. It truly is. So, yeah. when you learn your story, even though even though you have experienced your story, when you actually learn your story and then learn how to tell that story so that you are pulling people into your story. You really want to learn how to play on their emotions, all of their senses. I think I talked about this before, but you want to play on all of their senses. So sight and hearing and smell and taste. You want to, to learn how to tell that story and learn how to tell it well, because if right. you can, if you can kind of, if you can really nail that one on the head, telling your story, then that selling just comes naturally. It, it you know, mm -hmm. you're not, you're not outwardly selling, but you are selling through that story. And I think I said mm -hmm. the last, you know, on our last lab session that if you, if you kind of reminisce back to your childhood, when someone was telling you a story, do you remember how you would really get drawn into that story to the point where you really felt like you were a part of that story? You could visualize it and you could hear the yeah. sounds and you could smell the, the smells and, you know, you could, you, you could, you could, you know, just sense every piece of that story as that story was being told to you. So yes. you want to really practice this. It's so, so, so important to learn how to tell that story and tell it well. Truly, mm -hmm. truly, truly. So um, yeah. lastly, before we move on to step number two, because again, guys, um, we're on a mission to give you this three-day game plan, okay? And so, um, you know, really learning to brand yourself, um, and especially if you're new, um, you can do this really simply. You know, this takes you a very little bit of time, okay? So we just gave you step one, okay? So we're not, we didn't give you step one, but we told you why you brand, right? So we want to get into step one in just a second. Um, so you know why we brand and now you know what branding is. Okay. So before we go into the how, let me leave you this one last thing. The last reason why you really want to, um, brand yourself instead of the company that you're with is not because they're a bad company, but because, Hey, let's face it. You might be around longer than that company, you know? Right. And the last oh, few that's... years we have seen, um, we have seen companies come and go great companies. You know, we've seen companies rebrand themselves. So we've seen companies yeah. change names, large companies, right? Oh, that, that, that is so true. I mean, companies fail all the time, especially in the network marketing industry. I don't have the stats, um, and I used to know what they were. But there are, there are thousands of network marketing companies that exist, and so many of them fail. And so you're right, um, Dejan, that's, a, that's an excellent point that you want to brand yourself and not that company. You don't want your name to be that company because when that company fails and that company goes out of business, then you're going to kind of go away with it if people exactly. can only relate you with that name of the company. So and we'll, we'll touch awesome. on that a little bit later in more detail also. But just know that um, you, know, you want to kind of keep in mind that that company that you're with, as great as they are, you know, they're branding themselves. You know, they're not on their social media profiles branding you, you know, and talking all about you and your life. They're branding them. And so you kind of have to do the same thing. But what we're going to, you know, try to focus on tonight is how you do that in a really seamless way where it just feels natural. Um, and so I don't want that last stat to kind of scare you, you know, because I'm sure that, again, you believe in your company, you believe in the products. And so you should totally go for it. But just like anything else in life, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket necessarily. You want to leave yourself some options um, so that if the tides do change, you can just roll along with it and not be really affected, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to throw up our next slide just as a visual. Um, you guys make sure you tell me if you're actually seeing this um, the correct way. But um, so I can I'm going to be in step one. Can you read I the can. letters or is it backwards? No, the, the letters are fine, but they're being cut off from my view. Yeah, I'm going to scale it down in a second. Okay, so. there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, That's perfect. So, um, so step one, right? Let's roll right into this, guys, so we can get you guys started because that's why you're here, right? you got to do something, you know, big with your business, and we don't want to hold you in suspense too much longer, okay? So step number one is, you know, let's throw this question out here, right? Um, or actually, sorry, wrong it's actually this one. Here's our question, right? You guys can read this, right? So yep. 
Mm -hmm. Here's the person who says, I'm excited about building uh, my business, you know, and I believe in the products and they just want to know how can I start branding myself? You know, how can I start? What do I need to do? Okay. And we want you guys to be able to take this and do this literally in three days. Okay. And honestly, it can all be done in a day. I put it out there as a buffer three days just to make you guys feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, but honestly, you could pick tomorrow and say, I'm going to get all this stuff done tomorrow. Okay. But you know, there's no need to, to totally rush, give yourself some time. But, um, I just wanted to let you know that it is possible move at whatever pace you'd like. All right. But this is a three day plan because it's totally doable within three days. Okay. Um, and before we get started, I'm going to just share one more time to Twitter because I want to get more people actually in this room before we continue to get out these steps. Um, so I'm just going to share it really quick and then we'll move on. We'll leave that slide up for a second. Um, and you guys feel free to share with your networks. Um, why don't we take a pause if everybody could just share with their networks now because we're just going to get started into answering these questions, right? And so it's kind of a perfect time to pause and share. I don't think it really yeah, needs it to pause, is. right? It's like a, let me move my right hand right. over my mouth. Yeah, right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a two second pause. <laughs> right. So I'm um, going to go ahead and ask for it. If you haven't shared, please take the second and share it with your network. And thank you comes with that. <laughs> totally. Okay. So I was um, actually just shooting this out to Periscope also. Um, I think I'm going to keep on actually with Periscope, all right? Because it's too good of information just to keep all to ourselves right here on this platform. And we may get some people trick on over, right? We're not in a total, yeah. total, total rush. Um, so I'm going to say hey to my Periscope people. Um, Graffiti Yoga just jumped on with us. And to everybody that's still here, right here on Blab with me, um, you guys, you guys were live. Um, Nabar33, um, thanks for jumping on with us. Um, we're live over here on Blab. If you're so inclined, join us. Join us at blab.im. We're breaking down three steps. Okay, we're just about to get into it. All right, we have some cool people right here on the scope, and I see one more person just jumped on. Um, somebody's first day right here on wow. Periscope. All right, so. I'm sorry, somebody's first day right here on Blab, right? Abla. So thanks for jumping on with us. Um, Preston, hey, 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 over on Periscope. I'm just going to tag team and do both of these. Um, the importance of branding yourself is something that's so crucially important. Um, it's something that you can't miss, all right? If you've been in the business for a little bit, you already know that, or hopefully you know that. Um, if you're new to network marketing, it's something that you completely can't miss, all right? It's too good not to miss. Um, so I'll take it off my face so you guys can see. So we just threw up the first question. And for Abba that's just calling in, we're actually going to block the seat. And I'm actually going to lock it for right now. Uh, but we will open up the hot seat later. So um, stay tuned. And we actually have a raffle coming a little bit later also. So anybody that's here with us live on Blab, we are doing a raffle a little bit later. So um, if anybody wants to join us that's on Periscope right now, jump on over to Blab.im and look for at Butterflies Do It. Okay? So here we go um the first question right this is our typical um network marketer how do i start branding myself and not just brand my company like how do i do that all right so again step number one what you're really really going to want to do is you're going to start thinking about who you are all right who are you outside of that company you know mm -hmm. what's important to you just like we talked about with that Budweiser commercial, you know, what are your values? What are the things that you hold important? Write this down. You know, this is definitely an important part of the process. Start thinking about, you know, what value, what value could you add to people's lives, even if they never bought any of your products that you sell, even if they never joined you in business, even if they never hired you out for your services, what value could you actually bring to that person? besides just uh, throwing your link out there, you know, besides just throwing a bunch of before and afters, right? Start thinking about how you can actually add value, okay? And I'll give you some examples in a few minutes, but I just wanna make sure that you guys are, um, are kind of thinking about that, right? One good way um, for Periscope and over on Blab to kind of think about that is, is start thinking about um, what you're passionate about, you know? 
And I'll put the slide up here that says, you know, uh, lead with your passion, because that's really a big part of this, you know? Leading that's with your really, passion. yeah, yeah, that is, that is absolutely key, because, because when you lead with your passion, that's what really drives you and motivates you. So when you lead with your passion, everything else will really come, you know, easy for you, because that is innately who you are, what you're passionate about. That's important. Totally. I love it. Yeah. Totally, totally. Um, and so we have some more people over on Periscope that's just jumped in. Big Lady K, thanks for jumping in. We're doing a live blab session right now, and I'll go ahead and just uh, flip the screen so everybody can kind of see what's going on here. Um, but we're on Blab Live. Um, it's our weekly Hack Your Hustle show. And so you made it just in time for the, for the first, um, kind of for the first answer, okay? So we were just saying the step is to totally think about what you bring to the table lead with passion, think about what value you can offer people that could be potential clients, potential customers, um, or business partners. All right. Think about what you can offer them, even if they never clicked on your link, even if they never um, took advantage of any of your products. All right. Even if they never went to any of your Facebook parties or online parties or in-person parties. Okay. What can you mm -hmm. offer them? Um, a couple of examples of that are, you know, say I was, I'm just going to throw out Pampered Chef, okay, just as a quick example. Um, let me get rid of this image. I'm gonna throw out Pampered Chef just as an example, all right? I'm not a consultant or a rep, um, but it's the first thing that kind of came to mind, right? If I was a Pampered Chef ex um, consultant, I might think instead of throwing out just images of my great products and maybe, you know, um, discounts or coupons and, you know, throwing that out there on Facebook for people to like, you know, because most people are gonna just like it because they know you sometimes right but you know they're just doing that really just to show their support how many people of those people how many of those people are actually clicking and following the links that you're putting up there you know most times if you're not being intentional about what you're doing and you're really not branding you and they're not seeing it come from you they're not really going to take any action because what they see is just kind of like a company am i right i think you're absolutely right so, people are kind those those who like you and love you and are your friends they're going to be kind so they will do that exactly exactly and so one thing that you know you might consider doing and then we'll move on to the you know to the next tip is you know you might think about okay i represent you know a, a cookware company and i have all these products and things like that you know what if i threw out a recipe every other day or what if i threw out a recipe every single day you know um just to give people something of value right Everybody's always thinking about what's for dinner, right? <laughs> That's on, you know, people's mind more times than not. There's actually a stat on that. I can't even think about it. But like, I mean, the, the times a day that the, the number of times that food comes into our mind is a lot, you know, what am I going to eat next? And so what if you threw that out to people that were actually seeing your post, you know, and every now and then you could also include a link or you could also say, oh my gosh, I just made this awesome dish, you know, show you making it right. And then present maybe like the cookware that you used or the products, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and I'll just say hey to um, David that just jumped in the room also. I'm glad to have you here. So hopefully that's making sense, guys. I'm gonna flip my blab, my Periscope back on me. Um, that's making sense so far, right? It is, to me, definitely. Perfect, all right, so we have that down. Step number one, thinking about who you are and how you can really serve, okay? So that means it's taking the, 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 the focus off of you. Um, and a lot of times, small tip, is that helps people that are kind of uncomfortable about, you know, with the limelight. You know, people that are kind of uncomfortable about highlighting what they do um, with their new business, you know, or what they do just in business in general. You know, some people just don't really enjoy the spotlight or they want to kind of be bashful about what they do. Um, or what would I say? Modest, maybe. You know, mm -hmm. so if you think about how you can help other people, that makes you feel kind of good about presenting information, you know, and you don't have to think about, oh, am I annoying people or am I talking too much about myself? Do I seem arrogant? Um, you know, not at all. You're helpful. That's what you are. So think about it like that. I'm going to let Rhea back in. I didn't realize I actually locked her out. So. Sorry about that. Um, and so again, um, just to recap that last step, because I know you're writing this down, you're going to come up with an awesome list of um, what you bring to the table, what your passions are, how you can be of service. Know that when you lead with your passion um, and you're able to tell people what your, passionate, what your passion is, 
through that storytelling technique that we talked about earlier, you know, what you're going to be able to do is open up conversations. You know, when you talk about your passion, it, it stimulates questions and it stimulates conversation. Right. So know that that way you can feel confident talking about what you're talking about because you're just simply sharing, Hey, this is what I love. You know, this is why I got involved, uh, you know, so that makes sense. So are you guys wondering what the next step is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look, since we, um, um, I'm going to wait for a few more people to jump in this room before we do the drawing, I was going to stop and do it, but let's do it in a few minutes. We are going to do a drawing. So everybody that's here, um, make sure that you hang on because, you know, we want to give you something pretty special to even like amplify your efforts moving forward and especially over the next three days. Right. Right. So let's put up our next question. Um, and I'll just make this a little bit smaller so you guys can, so you guys can see it. Or the next step, right? The next step is totally um, get a blog. This is step number two of the three part process. All right. Step number two. Um, I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Is anybody that's in the room and on the sidebar, do you guys have a blog already? Let me know if you guys are currently blogging with your business or no. No judgment, totally just asking because this is a open, safe session and really we're just trying to help people um, get to where they need to be. So Jalen Spencer 34, thanks for jumping on with us over on Periscope. Uh, we are live here on Blab as well. So if you want to jump on and join us on Blab, you're more than welcome. Um, but we're just on step number two. Okay. So cool. So Evan is blogging already. That's good. All right. So that's definitely what you need to be doing. Um, start blogging and you need to start blogging right away. Okay. It's definitely key. Um, and I'll, I'll go over the reasons why. Um, blogging is what's going to give you that authority. All right. Blogging is different than a website. Let's clear that up before we move on. Right. Cause there may be some people on here that are kind of wondering what is the difference between a blog and a website? Yeah. Right? That's important to point that out for sure. Definitely. So, so your traditional blog or your, I'm sorry, your traditional website is designed to um, just provide information, right? It's, it's designed to say, okay, when are we open? Um, what are we right. all about? What products do we have? You know, things that people can just go look at and take away, you know, kind of like an online flyer, right? But the blog is really a place where you're able to build a community. You know, it's a place where you're able to get engagement and people are actually able to understand the nuances about who you are and what you bring to the table. Um, find interesting things and they're able to engage. You know, they can leave comments, they can share, um, you know, they can like pictures, all these types of things. So that's that's why the blog is so powerful. Um, so I see Rhea commenting on the sidelines and you're saying, I remember when when you didn't know how powerful blogging was, right? Absolutely. Totally, totally. I, had, I thought it was a hobby. Yeah, you thought it was a hobby, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and, and exactly. They are very, very interactive. Um, so what you're going to want to do is totally launch that blog, okay? It's a very simple process, especially when you're using a system that's designed to help you succeed, all right? Um, you're going to want to jump onto something that's going to make it easy to create blog posts, look like a pro with minimal effort, make it easy for people to share and also make it easy for people to find you. That's the key, right. right? So that when you share that content that you're writing on your blog, you know, when people go back to it, they're going to be like, whoa, she's actually serious about this. This isn't mm -hmm. like a side thing that she's doing with her skincare business or, you know, this isn't a side thing that she's doing or he's doing with that, um, you know, that, that, that legal business or whatever you know, they're going to see that, whoa, you're doing like some, some serious things and you mean business, literally. Right. You're, right. Yeah. you're treating yeah. this like a business, not like a hat, not like a hobby. Right. Right. So, you know what, you know what I love about blogging What's is that? that you can blog about anything, really. You can blog about anything and everything outside of your business, because totally. again, it's a great way to interact and connect and network and get to know people and also um, you know, for people to get to know you. 
not just by your business, but by who you are. Because back to what you, you keep saying throughout this entire blab is that people are going to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. And so your blog helps you to build that credibility so that you can um, network and, and get to meet people. And together, you, you, you're able to connect and, um, and build relationships that do exactly that. So you can blog about anything. You know, you may be selling um, legal products, as you mentioned earlier, or Pampered Chef, but you may blog about, you know, about dogs because you're a dog lover, in addition to blogging about your Pampered Chef or your legal business. So it, 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 it's a great opportunity to get to know masses of people um, without actually having to have that, you know, that that one on one shoulder time. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's a, an awesome tool. Um, Preston jumped on over and joined us from Periscope. So hey, Preston. Hey, Preston. Hi, Preston. Nice to um, get to catch you again. Um, hope all is well. Um, and thanks for coming on over. Um, so for everybody that's still over in Periscope land, um, if anybody is live with us right now, um, we have something good going on over here on blab.im. So make sure that you join us so you can um, jump into the action and maybe jump into the hot seat as well. Um, and maybe win our drawing as well. So exactly right. Maybe mm -hmm. our drawing. And actually, speaking of drawing, this might be a really good time to actually do the drawing before we give. I think so. The next step and complete step number two. So let's go ahead do and it. The drawing. We have a few people. Um, I know, Mom, you've been throwing names in the fishbowl as people have been coming in. Well, so, I I actually I actually have the names here because I don't want to miss anybody. So I'm going to call them out. And as I call them out, I've got the fishbowl right here, right? Okay. So as I call these names out, just make sure that, um, that I've got everybody that I should. We've got Preston, right? Yep. Yay. And I have, let's see, um, Driving Mall. Is that right? Mm -hmm. He's still with us, right? Yes. Yep. Great. So these two are in the bowl. Um, is David still with us? I'm not sure. I think so. Yep, he is. Okay, beautiful. David, you're in there. And let's see. I don't know if Driving Mall is still here. Okay, if you could check that out for me, that'd be great. What about um, Evangelos or Evangelos? Yep, Evan's Taxi is here. Evan's still here. Great. So I have three people in the bowl right now. Can you can yes, you double check that one for me? Driving, driving mall. No, yep. yes. Nope, he's not here. He's not here. Mm -mm. He was with us for a long time. Okay, so we have three people in the bowl. So I'm gonna. Did I miss anybody? Nope, you didn't miss anybody. And you guys, okay. really awesome. Hopefully, you will win this. Um, you know, awesome thing that we'll announce in just a little bit. But you know, if you're serious about taking this to the next step, if you're serious about taking some action um this could be this could be something good for you so exactly and you see i'm shaking it right and i'm and she's okay. like a mom in front of the christmas tree making it sound very christmasy thank you <laughs> that's good that's good okay here we go i have david all right hey so hey david <laughs> all right congratulations david so that is awesome. I'm like, no, when does he win? I knew hashtag <laughs> boom, right? Yes, boom. That's right. And um, Dejan, I don't know if you mentioned this or not, but we will do another drawing um, by the end of the night. So, or by yeah. the end of this blab, I should say. Exactly. So, David is our first winner. That is awesome. Congratulations. And so I'm just going to say really quick to um, people on Periscope. I'm going to sign off a of Periscope because I really want to get back and focus right on Blab. If you're watching this replay, jump on over and join us. Blab.im. Look for at Butterflies Do It. Um, and if you're not here, you miss it. I'm so sorry you missed it. You know, David just took your raffle. So I'm signing off and I'll talk to you guys on Periscope land later. All right. Okay. Great. So Dejan, tell David what he won. Um, so basically what we're doing, David, um, is we are giving away just really quick no huge thing, but it's a 15 minute um, brainstorming, branding brainstorming session with us. Um, and so I'll tell you at the end how you can kind of take advantage of that. But I know when a lot of people are getting started and they're interested in figuring out this whole like formula, um, it doesn't have to be harder than it has to be, right? We wanna make it pretty easy. 
And sometimes people just wanna hash it out with a brainstorming session about their brand um, or any questions just related to um, the three-step, three-day um, branding yourself process. So um, that's what you win. So, <laughs> um, all right, guys. So look, let's keep going because I wanna tell you what this whole challenge is. This is what you can do. We left off before we did the mm -hmm. drawing. We were talking about the purpose of starting a blog and why you need to do that. Um, because let's just state that most companies nowadays, you know, when you sign up and you become an associate or a rep or a consultant or whatnot, you get your own personal website. Um, and that is a great place, right? Companies do that for you. One, they tell you that, yes, you can just lead people right to your website and have them do business right there, make all your transactions. Um, and that's necessary for a lot of companies because that's usually the only way that you can actually legally sell your products, you know? Right. So it's like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to take my products to Craigslist and say, let me unload them all here. Um, most times you have to go through your official website to actually sell your products. All right. So that's really why that website exists. Um, and it is just an easy way that some people can just, you know, it's, it's what a lot of people can do. And network marketing is designed so that the masses can do it really, you know, they have to design, design it for a lot of people. But we know that if you're watching this replay or you're on this live, you don't want to fall into the masses because the masses actually fail at what you're in. You know, the masses actually fail at what we're all in, you know, this whole online marketing game. Um, yeah. They don't they don't last because they don't know some of the tools that are right at their fingertips. So when you want to set yourself apart, you're going to do that extra step um, like that. Jeff Olson quote says um, successful do successful people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. All right. So you being a successful person, you're going to go that extra mile and you're going to set up that full brand presence and have an actual blog space for people to come and engage with you, you know, often. So um, what I want you to do and what the purpose of tonight's blog is, Blab is, is to get you over to um, the 21 day blogging challenge. All right. And so, again, it's for people that are serious about, you know, taking that next step and whatever their business is, you know. No more figuring things out. You've probably watched enough periscopes, enough blab sessions, read enough stuff online where you're like, hey, I gotta still do, I, I need to just do something, you know? And so, and so what, Dejan? It's really time to just step into act. it. Time to be all time to be bold, right? And just act, step into Completely. it and do it. Because it is not, it's not as 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 scary as it may seem. It's not as as difficult or tough as it may seem. And, um, you know, as, as you mentioned, Dejan, there, there are tools out there that really make blogging very simple and really break the process down so that it is something that you can do really, really quickly. Exactly. And, and the whole point is, you know, um, there are a lot of tools and we're not interested in leading you guys to um, some random tool or something that we haven't actually used, tried and loved. Um, Cause that's just not who we are. That's really not in line with our core values. Right? right. We try to give people information that we actually know a little bit of something about, you know, we don't know everything, but we do know a little bit of something. Right. Yeah. And we do know that we faced a learning curve when we first started um, putting all the pieces together. And we were like, what is this whole formula? What is this thing? What does this blogging mean? What do I do on it? How do I set it up? You know, all that. So we're taking the guesswork out of it for you. Some of you that are familiar with some of our sites have probably seen it before and maybe looked at it and not taken advantage. Um, but I'm throwing up the link right now. This is our 21 day blogging challenge. Okay. This is going to. That's not good. Let's see. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Is Don't that better? Look. Yeah. That's okay. Wow. Don't know what made that happen. Wow. Okay. I still heard an echo on my part, but. Um, okay, well, hopefully that's good. I don't know what happened, but um, this system is going to allow you to dive right into um, a system that you can use. Try it out. If you're unsure about blogging, here's your chance. Try this out and see what you can do to set yourself apart in your business and start to really build relationships with people. Okay. Um, it's going to allow you to tap into a formula that's kind of a no brainer. That's what it's designed to do. Take all the guesswork out of it. So, you know, when we say, I'll break this down again, when we say blogging, the purpose of a blog is to create content that can be shared, right? And we'll talk about that in the next step. And then that way people can say, hey, that person is sharing things with me that's actually valuable. It's cool, you know? 
um, yeah, maybe you're selling something in it sometimes. Maybe sometimes you're just giving pure value, right? They're showing me how to do something or showing me how to access something I didn't know about, right? And so um, you need to create content in order to do that. And that's what the 21 day challenge is set up to allow you to do easily. The system basically is a hand holder. So it will hold your hand each day during the 21 day process. As you click start a new blog post, it'll give you the date. It'll give you some topics that you want to choose from, right? And it'll help you tailor it so it matches your brand or it matches what you're all about, all right? And so it will also give you topics and keywords that are already highly searched, you know? And that's the great thing about using a smart system. Um, and I'll say hey to, to Tora because she jumped back in. So hey, 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 welcome back. Um, but that's the great thing about using a system, you know, um, that's tried and true is it's going to do a lot of the hard work for you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to initially start worrying about keywords and SEO and what's going to exactly pull right now, you know, let the system help you out and do that for you. Um, so anyway, super easy. I'm going to throw up the link right now and it's all actually embedded into our latest blog post, um, which launched today or published today. So, um, Thanks for the props, guys. I love it. I'm feeling the love tonight. Um, and hopefully you're seeing this as valuable information, um, you know, because we're, we're all in this business for a reason, right? You're in it because you have big dreams. You're in it because you want to build something new. And you, at one time, got introduced to some really successful stories and saw yourself achieving that same kind of success, right? So, um, you know, these are the steps to get there, right? Again, we, we, tried, we, we figured this out kind of like, not the long way so much, you know, because we were really like amped up to find the answer, but we went through a lot of different channels, right? And so this is taking some of the guesswork again away from you guys. So um, Dr. Danya, hey, 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 thanks for jumping in with us. Glad to have you here. So make sure you go to that link. I'll throw it back up at the, uh, again at the end, but it's asideofchange.com backslash brand me. Okay. That's our latest blog post. And it has a big button that says 21 day blog challenge. You can't miss it. All right. Try it out. This is your chance. Okay. This is your chance to see what this whole blogging thing is all about or what a really successful, easy to use blogging platform really looks like. So, um, I will leave that, that alone for now. Um, and remember that we're going to do another drawing at the end. So definitely stay tuned. Um, let's move into this third step. Are you guys ready for the third step? It's been easy so far, right? Like really simple information, figure out what you bring to the table, how you can offer value, how you can offer um, service to people that it could be potential clients or business partners or customers. That was step number one. Step number two was start blogging, create content. And so I want to give you step three, but I don't know if you're quite ready for it yet. So, you know, I like the participation. So when you're ready for it, give me some props. Let me know on the sidebar that you're ready and I want to let you know what the third step is. Yes. Okay. So I got it right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so the third step is share, promote your content. Okay. And I'm actually going to toss it over to my mom, Sonia. Um, and I'll say thank you for sharing guys on the sideline. I see that happening. Um, why don't you talk about how people can share content, what that really means and how super simple it is to do. Oh gosh. Yes. Well, and you know what, I'm going to start by saying this because those first two steps are so, so important, but guess what? If you do those first two steps, but you don't share it, then nobody knows that it exists. Right? If you're blogging and you set up this great, wonderful blog and you've got great content on this blog, but you don't tell anybody about it, then you've got a great, beautiful blog that you can go to every day and you can read it and you can inspire yourself and you can, you know, and, and you can show yourself before and after pictures or you can read these great stories and, you know, th because you've learned storytelling and all of that great stuff. But if you don't share it, then nobody knows about it, right? And so there are a lot of different ways that you can tell people about these, these, these things that you have, these products that you have, this blog that you've set up, all of that good stuff. So what about tweeting, right? We all know what tweeting is. So that's, that's an easy one, right? 
but do you do it every day and do you do it consistently and do you do it all the time? So you can absolutely go out and tweet. You can talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about within, you know, with, within tweeting. But if you're going to tweet and if you're going to talk about your content in your tweets, then you want to do it consistently. And um, you know what? Maybe one day we'll do a blog just about tweeting and what all of that, that world is, is all about. Um, what about videos? Videos are huge right now, okay? Um, you'll probably notice as you go to people's blogs, you're going to see videos on the blog content that they have out there. Um, YouTube channels, right? Of course, YouTube is nothing but, is nothing but um, videos, right? And so videoing is probably one of the best ways right now to connect. That, as a matter of fact, I think it is the number one way to connect. But I know that, um, that a, lot of, uh, a lot of marketers are afraid of the camera. They're a little right. nervous to be in front of people. They're, they don't feel comfortable showing their face. They're okay you know, with the keyboard. They're okay with typing. They're okay with that piece. But when it comes to getting in front of the camera, everybody's not so comfortable. Rhea? I see you. I yeah, see your finger. Right. I was just gonna say, I think it's kind of amazing how many people I meet. You know, we've done um, blab sessions and um, and uh, posts on introverts, right? But it's I've always been amazed at how many people don't actually mind approaching people in person or talking to people just in the flesh, but mm -hmm. who are very nervous to just hit play, right, or hit record on the camera is what I should say. And right. I find that people admit to saying like they've done twenty takes on one video or they've mm -hmm. done 20 takes, decided to go to bed and pick it back up in the morning so that mm -hmm. they could then do like, they're looking for that perfect newscasted type of like experience. And like, that's not what you're talking about, right? Um, that's, that's amazing you're how right. people admit to just like, they even get brave enough to get in front of the camera and they don't like it when they play it back and then they erase it and they try it again. And Mm -hmm. Where they know it, mm -hmm. they're trying to do a video for five hours. Oh, you're right. You're right. And, and, and you're right about the point that that is that that's absolutely not what we're talking about. When I say do a video, I just mean that just just hit hit start and do that video. Um, right. Maybe one take, maybe I mean maybe one, two, or maybe even three takes. But right. after that, you do that video. It doesn't have to be perfect because. Again, people are looking to do business with people that they know, like, and trust, right? They're right. not looking to do business with this perfect person who never messes up on their words or who never, you know, looks away from the camera. You are not trained to do that. You are not a, a newscaster, nor, nor are most of us actors. We're just looking for the information. So you are the person that has the information. So give people what they need. Give people what they need in the form of a video. Why? Because right. that is that is right now, as I said, the number one way to um, you know to get your content out there. So jump on that bad on, on that bandwagon, take advantage of it, and do videos. Um, go out to YouTube after we finish this lab session and just look at some channels out there and see how many how many videos people are producing to get their content out there. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's, that's yeah. a little, a little small channel. I mean, little, little small challenge. Um, and just go out there and peek, just take a look. Often, actually, you know what? I, I, I think that that's a good step. Um, but you know what I'm going to tell you is that's really not necessary. Come on. We're bombarded with images and videos all day long, right? You know, the videos are out there. You've probably seen them, right? If you're in network marketing and you're trying to make this work because you've seen leaders walk across the stage, if you're building a business because you know that there's entrepreneurs out there that are giving it everything they have because this is everything they have, like this has to work or nothing right. else, mm -hmm. you know, let me know on the sidelines or give me some props. Have you guys been there where you're like, Hey, this has to work, whatever it is that you do. You know, mm -hmm. if I could prop myself, I would prop myself, you know, but I've been there when I'm like, okay, it's now or never, you know, every, this has to work. Yeah. And yeah. so if you're looking at all these other people that you're probably assessing and you're being like, okay, they're like a fraction um, as intelligent as I am. And if they're doing it and they just made $2 million in one month, well, what is stopping me? Exactly. Right? That's right. So, That's so right. I'm then you know, you, you can do it. Yeah, right. you, know you can do it, you know, so I'm not I'm not harsh. I'm just putting up the reality. So I'm just exactly. saying what everybody's probably thinking or has thought before. Um, right. right. So the she, was definitely is, giving, she was giving the encouraging mom version of 
you know, let's put some training wheels on and get you started and get you comfortable. And you just were like, ride the damn bike. <laughs> so pretty you much. know what? Exactly. Exactly. Versions. <laughs> right, right. But you know what? Whatever it takes, either one of the either one of right. those routes will take you where you need to be. And that is doing videos. So that's the right. point. Exactly. Get out there and do videos however you need to do it. OK, right. um, live that's streaming, good. right? Live streaming. What are we doing right now? We're live streaming. We're, We're on Blab. Blab. So you've got Blab. You've got Periscope. Get out there and do your first work Periscope. Yeah. Get in front of your audience. Get in front of people. Again, we're trying to connect. We're trying to network. We're trying to let people know that you have content out there. A, that you exist, right? That you're real. You exist. And so you've got to get in front of people as much as, as, much as you can. Rhea? So, yeah, I would just want to share one thing just as, as far as that's concerned. Um, getting in front of people is really, um, it's really important that you say that because again, I know we've shared this a lot, but I think that we can't share it enough and people can't hear it enough. When we talk about live streaming and the amount of people who are actually live streaming, there's a lot of people on Blab, there's a lot of people on Periscope and they're viewers. So 98 to 99% of the people that are on these platforms are viewing, they're not people who are in front of the camera. So the one to 2%, we fall into that one to 2% actually, right? Because we're in front of the camera. So you have um, all the reasons telling you, hey, do that thing nobody else is doing. Be brave. Not a lot of people are doing it. Most people are on here watching, not actually broadcasting. No, you're um, right. You're right. That's, right? that's so, so true. Just, I don't know that people realize how small that percentage is, right? Um, and you don't get to say you get to be a part of the 1% very often. So be about it, right? So, be a part yeah, of that. Right. And, and, and not yet anyway, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Here's the thing. I want to drive this really quick because we can open up the hot seat and I want to ask, you know, I want people to ask questions and I want to make sure that we do that drawing. Okay. So we have a good amount of people in the room. Um, it's anybody's chance at this point. Um, so what you need to do to get started, just to recap, is just take the challenge. All right. If it's not for you, you'll find that out sooner than later. But I, I, I can probably bet, and I don't even bet, but I can bet that there's something of great value in, um, in starting that blog and kind of just taking the challenges and diving in, right? Because when you share on channels that maybe you're already sharing on or on, uh, you know, maybe Facebook is something that you're primarily using right now, right? When people see what you're doing, um, they're going to be like, wow, that person is on top of their game. And they're going to see something different in you, honestly. That's right. You know? And so, um, you know, I, I, I challenge you just to see what that feels like, because it feels kind of good. People are like, well, what are you like? What are you doing? You know, mm -hmm. right. feel, it definitely feels good. And actually, um, that's the best so I'll throw up the link one more it time. Is, you're right. um, and that's to get our latest blog post. And the challenge is right inside of there. 21 day blogging challenge. Really simple. Um, you're also going to get three additional things for anybody that signs up for the challenge. Again, we're not trying to teach you the slow way. We want you actually stepping into your brand and owning it by New Year's easily, right. right? Maybe even by Christmas if you're one of those like real action takers and you get started tonight, right? That would be great. So what we're going to do or what you can expect is anybody that signs up for the challenge can definitely expect some emails to hit them, okay? And it's going to cover some of the things that we just highlighted that Aria and my mom just finished highlighting, okay? You can expect an email or a video tutorial on basically facing your fears with YouTube, facing your right. fears in front of the camera. So we're going to give you a checklist and a tutorial of how to sit there and break down some really quick videos that are related to the content that you post on your blog. All right. We're also going to show you what to include in that description and that title so that your videos can get found by people um, all over the world, whoever's searching for something related to what your company offers. Mm -hmm. And we're going to also show you how to share that information. Um, so for as a quick example, you know, if you wrote a blog post tomorrow and it was on 10 ways to get fit and get your sexy on by summer, right? Maybe that's your blog post. You know, what you can do is turn around and make a video with that exact same information, all right? So there's no guesswork on what you're talking about. You're talking about all the information that was contained in that blog post. You're gonna post that on your YouTube page, which is also branded, you know, for you. You know, go back to that step one we talked about or that why, and that YouTube page is gonna be branded for you. You're gonna upload it. You're going to stuff in some little keywords related to what you're talking about. People are going to find you when they're looking for, you know, bathing suit bodies or beach bodies, right? They're going to find your content. They're going right. to like it. And then you're also going to take that link and you're going to share it on Twitter. You know, you might share it on, you know, um, 
you know, uh, Instagram or, or whatever your, whatever your, your mode is, right? Maybe you're going to share it on Facebook. All right. So we're going to show you how to do that and make it really easy. Face your fears and, uh, you know, don't let that hold you back from seeing the success that you really need to see. Number two is you are going to get a Periscope checklist. All right. Periscope is another great engine. Mom just talked about that live streaming. Come on. It's almost 2016. We have the ability to basically broadcast our very own show. You know, whatever it is that you want to talk about, you know, the audience is there. You know, you just have to build it and bring some content. All right. And so we're going to give you an easy Periscope how to and a checklist how to get not only, you know, how to, how to not just get people watching. Right. Because anybody can kind of get people to watch on Periscope most times, but how to get like a targeted market, you know, following. And that's something that we had to learn just a few months ago when we launched on Periscope. You know, there's a lot of people on there, but I don't want the trolls on there. You know, I don't want the people that are just looking for, you know, um, video game tips or people that are really looking for, you know, um, you know, um, cupcake baking suggestions, because that's not what I do. I want to get targeted people that are interested in what I have to bring to the table in my content. And there's a pretty simple way to do that. So we're going to show you how to do that. Um, and the last thing is we're going to show you um, how to take some really quick professional looking photographs, like really, really easy just to get your brand started and get your image out there using your iPhone and a couple apps. I promise it is very easy um, to actually take a few pictures and make it look like you actually were in a studio. Um, so again, we're going to give you the no brainer version. I just did this actually about two weeks ago. I took a few pictures when I was actually getting my eyebrows done and it took me about five seconds to do while I was in the car. And actually immediately it looked like I was in a studio um, in front of a green screen or, you know, wow. a white drop cloth. Yeah. So those tricks and those tips that you can use, that's what you can use to put on your banner for your YouTube video, you know, your YouTube page. That's what you can use on your Twitter profile along with some text, you know? And so that yeah. way you'll have the whole package. You'll have the blog, you'll have all of your engines that you're going to use to promote your content and you'll have, the matching professional images to go along with it. All right. So that's kind of what you're going to expect in your email. Um, and I think right now that I've listed all of that, we've told you where to go. Let's do another drawing. Okay. So I love this. I love this. This is good. So if you guys can help me out, Dejan and Maria, just help me yep. out with who Tora. is in the room. Um, let's see. Yep. We've got Torah. Tora, you Tora going in, in. Exactly. Get my my little uh, fishbowl here. <laughs> Not really a fishbowl, but it's working. It's a nice little crystal bowl. vase. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, so Tora, dropping you in there. Yep. Uh, let's see. We have we have Dr. Danya Gonzalez. Dr. Danya, I've got her right here. Yes. And she is going in there, and let's see. Uh, we have Joe that just jumped into the room. So Joe can go into the pot. Okay. Good hold time, on. Joe, One World Television Channel Director. Um, okay. I think we lost Preston, didn't we? So Preston we comes lost out. lost Preston. Yes. Um, uh, let's see. You know what? Go ahead and put Preston in there. Evangelos Tech, uh, Taxi, right? Yep. He is Evan here. Taxi is back in here. Yep. Okay. I like Preston a lot and he is always on here supporting. Yep. And so I want to throw his name in the pot. Okay. I think be I've got Pre Preston's back in the pot. I've got Christopher. Um, Do we still nope, have nope, Christopher? No. Oh, we oh, had we Christopher. Have I've got Jody. Nope. I think you covered everybody. We have Did David, we have Evan, we have Tora, and we have Dr. Danya. Okay. And we've got Joe. Yes. Right. Um, and actually really quick before we do the drawing guys, I just want to use this small time to shout you guys out because I know you're all on here for a reason. And so I want to just read your profiles really quick and then we'll draw. Um, but I want to give it, you know, everybody a chance to hear what you do. And I just skimmed some really great profiles. So yeah, that'd let's be start great with, um, David who David won our last drawing. Um, David Cribs at desking deals. He is car guy, sales trainer, author, flipper. And his hashtag is God is desking my deal. So I love it. Cool. I like that. It has a cool little spin. I like that you have a hashtag already. So you guys know where to follow David, right? God is desking my deal. 
Um, so pretty cool. I like that God is desking his deal. I love it. I like it too. Um, we also have Evangelos. Uh, is that ta Taxiarchy? Ta ta Rio, am, I, am I butchering this? Huh? Am I butchering um, Evangelos' name? Evangelos? I don't think so. Um, so he's at Evan Taxi. I'm an apprentice in life, marketer of good things, entrepreneur and B2B volunteer to local doghouse. Join me. And so he has a link also to his page. So very cool. Very, very cool. That is. To a local um, dog and I love that marketer of good things. You know, that's awesome. So I'm going to read Sonia Coppage, right? That's our mom down here with the Christmas tree. Um, <laughs> she's an entrepreneur. She's at S Coppage. She's an entrepreneur, a blogger, an internet marketer, a change maker, and more. Subscribe to her blog. So she has her link, right? So awesome. Um, no problem, guys. We have Dr. Danya, right? Dr. Danya joined us. Dr. Danya Gonzalez Coppola. She is at renewal for new at renewal of 48. I'm a neuropathic doctor and a therapist. My aim is to get you well. If you have been re if you've been recently laid off, I can also life coach you back to health. Wow. Very cool. I like that a lot. So That's awesome. she can life coach you back to health. A change factory at Butterflies Do It. That's me over here. That's this is actually our shared um, kind of collective account at okay. Butterflies Do It. We are a mother, a set of twins, an artist. That's me. NYC school leader. That's Aria, and a DC staffing firm owner. That's Mom down at the bottom. And we are helping you turn your passion into profit. And we blog at our link, sideofchange.com. So, um, and then we have Tora Sprags. All right, at Tora NATO Network, which I love. Uh, but <laughs> Tor is a speaker, breakout strategist, internet radio station owner, and there is her link. So that is Tora. Um, love her. She's part of the family also. Um, and, uh, you know, awesome lady doing big things. So, and then we have Aria over here at Transformation Twins. <laughs> Again, this is our collective voice because we are twins. And so our motto that we just go by is yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has not yet come. We only have today, let us begin for Mother Teresa. So now let's do the drawing. <laughs> now that everybody is fully represented here, right? Okay. All right, great, great, great. Okay, so I just wanted you to see that I have Joe now as well. And Joe is going okay, to awesome. into our pot here. And I'm shaking our goods and I'm mixing them all up. I love this. Should have been a, should have been a bingo person. All right, right, here we go. I have one in my hand. This is Dr. Danya. Hey, Dr. Danya, congratulations. All right, so Dr. Danya um, is the winner of our second giveaway, Renewal of 48. Um, again, she's the person that can help you if you've recently been laid off and she can coach you back to health. Congratulations. Right. So, totally congratulations, and I will let somebody else recap on what that prize represents. I'm sorry. I missed, okay, maybe they I missed me. Okay, that's all right. I'll tell you, doctor. All right. What that was is we just um, gave you a 15 minute consultation, uh, what we're calling a, um, a brainstorming, a brand brainstorming session or a question answer session. So if you guys want to get us on the phone, we have two winners, you know, um, use that. If you want to brainstorm, what is your brand? You know, if you want to help identifying, you know, your passion and your angle and how you can, you know, really um, stand out within whatever company you're in and create that brand around yourself, we can hash it out on the phone, you know? So use this for 15 minutes um, and, uh, you know, let's hack it out together so that we can step into this and get you started um, kind of in no time. So to, to the two people that won the raffle tonight, which again was our first ever Blab raffle, um, exactly great question, how do you get in touch? What you can do is again, follow that same link that I'm gonna post up right here. Um, inside of that latest blog post, you read on down, there's a PS section. And um, what that is, is there will be a, a number. It's our text number, text us the three best times that work for you, um, and then we'll, we'll set up a time to talk, so. That's that's that simple. Simple. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So yeah, 
that's what it is. <laughs> Good job. That's great. Yeah. So that's what we have. I want to open up the hot seat. If anybody wants to jump in, the hot seat is um, actually it's unlocked already. So it's a safe place if you want to jump on and ask any questions. If you're curious about branding, if you're cur curious about how to separate yourself, um, you know, outside of your company, you know, throw it out there right now while we have the next what maybe like ten minutes or so. So, Dejan, in order think, to stay, true I think to our we're time, losing it's... you. I think we're losing you a little bit. Um, but anyway, I think what she's saying is she's gonna open up the hot seat. So if anybody wants to jump in there if you have any questions or if you have some <clears throat> looks like we lost both of them so it's, it's just me you got me but anyway um, if you have any questions that you want to ask about branding or if you feel that you are well branded and, and you want to throw something out there because you know I always say that we learn as much from from everyone that's in the room so it's 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 really that hot seat is there so that we can kind of keep the conversation going that this is this is this is an open conversation, and so we we really love hearing from from everyone who's in the room. So um, that hot seat, as we call it, the hot seat. It's really not a hot seat. It's really a friendly, soft um, seat that you can come and join us in conversation. Um, and you know what? We just talked about branding, and we talked about getting in front of the camera. So if you're uncomfortable getting in front of the camera. Um, you know, we're friendly. It's really easy. You don't have to stay for a long time at all, but it's definitely up to you and it's open. So if anyone would like to, um, to take the hot seat, feel free. Definitely. And Rhea's back on too. Yeah, I'm having problems <laughs> with my connection. Tori said that better be grape juice, Dejan. I love it. I love it. <laughs> How'd you guess, Tora? <laughs> <laughs> the best grape juice so you guys know that there's like no juice. pressure right so we always like to extend it just a little bit because we know that people like to jump on and it's really fun for us to get to meet people um and interact but it's absolutely no pressure no love lost, it's no pressure right? at all uh, i think that we've had a really great night and we have met new people we've been able to do some um gifting as well which is always good and i think there's a lot of value in that so i'm really happy about the people who are able to um be our lucky winners right um and so hopefully there's more of that to come totally i agree um and so again i i'll say the quote that i used last week um and i use it again today successful people are willing to do what unsuccessful people are not that's and right. that's from jeff olson from the slight edge um, and I'm kind of using that as my mantra for the week because I love it. Um, it's so true. And it's That's sometimes- right. That is so true. Um, in, in that book, if you guys haven't read The Slight Edge, I would definitely recommend it. It's been around for a, a while. Um, yeah. But what it talks about is doing those small things consistently. And that's what gives you that slight edge. That's what you know separates you. And honestly, I guess that separates winners from losers or people that succeed and people that don't. Um, but uh, it, it's so, so true. And as we are opening this, our, our, our scope is growing. We've got Sharice that jumped back on. Stuart joined us and it's his first day on Blab. So welcome. Hey. Um, you guys just missed our- That's life. always exciting. I know. So, um, so yeah. So we'll do it again. We will definitely, definitely do that again because that was Oh, fun. most definitely. You know, I think we're gonna like incorporate a drawing at least one day, one of our lab sessions throughout the week. So, um, you know, it's an it's easy way to tap in. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you thank so you. much. <laughs> oh, Sharice, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's um, the love we're talking about. That's the power of like building um, community, right? is that we can always just stop in and talk to each other. Stop in and just say, hey, I'm here to support, showing love, saying hi. That is the power of networking mm -hmm. online, right? That's the power of building your brand. So I hope that a lot of people um, who were not able to get on tonight live with us get an opportunity to catch the replay. Totally. So I think it's really time to say goodnight. It's 9.35. 
and we definitely have uh, you know, open up the hot seat and it doesn't mean we always have takers, but I think that we always want to say thank you for everybody who was able to join for a portion of the time or the whole time. Dejan is throwing up some links that um, we talked about earlier. So if you weren't able to catch them, here they are right at the bottom of the chat. And, um, you know, make sure you click on that link. Make sure you connect with us. That's something that we want to make sure that we do. We meet you once and we want to stay connected. Okay. Um, exactly. Those of you that won our raffle tonight, again, congratulations. And we hope to hear from you really shortly so that we can start working with you and um, you know, bring you some value, bring you some benefit that you can then turn around and offer to others. Definitely, definitely. So take that challenge, you know, 21 days. 21 days, so, right? 21 right. days is a short period of time and it will fly by and you'll have a great time doing it. Oh, 21 days, we will already be into the new year. So. Um, that's really what it is. We'll be in 2016. <laughs> You're right. You are so right. So we'll say good night and we'll right. see you again on Tuesday. Um, what is the date on Tuesday? Tuesday, Tuesday is the will be the 22nd. Okay. Yes. Tuesday, the 22nd. Yeah. We'll be back at eight o'clock with another blab session. And I always like to end our blabs by saying, as we all know, we have 24 hours in the day, right? I have 24 and you have 24 hours in the day. And we are so happy and we feel so special that you've given us a small piece of your 24 hours. So thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you again on Tuesday night okay. at eight o'clock. Good night. Yep. Be safe. Good Bye night, everybody. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.